This is another video of Hornby Railmaster 156 Pro on programming and plus some other extra bits as well. First of all, as we've done all the programming before, which you've mostly seen in one of the videos, but one of the things you can actually do is that there's another little bit in the system. If you go down to where it says Hornby Railmaster, double click it, and this appears. Now what I'll do is actually move it over here so it gives you a better view. Now what you've got is a little plus box and also a, a raise box. In, if you press the little plus box, what you've got then, this screen comes up, and what you've actually got, if you go to function, you've got loco, you've got sound, route, plan and program. And you can put in little these little buttons up on your screen and you don't have to start messing around with your trains down here or your programs. So what I'll show you one is a loco first. That's the loco. Go to the next box and here's all your locos. You put in the train that you want and in there you can actually then type. So I'll put in Mallard and click the box and there it sits. So what you can actually do then is actually just go to it, click it and it brings you that up. So it's a quick way of getting to your trains that you use quite regularly. If you go to this little box here, do that, you can take the system out if you want it. Now if you go to this again, if you go to here, if you go to sound and go to this one, these are all the sounds that are in Railmaster, from clocks to door slamming to fireworks to seaside noises. And then if you keep going down to the clocks, what you'll get then is these, which are the voice announcements for the stations. So you've got the Blue Streak, the Caledonian, the Devon Bell, the Dutchman, whatever it might be. They're, that's all in female and right down near the bottom you keep going down these are all the ones in male so you can actually get all the voice from them such as you can put those in if you want them another one if you go down here root on the root one you can actually set up all your points for a particular route just by pressing putting down there and then pressing the button on plan you, you I don't see the point of the plan because you normally sit in your plan but there again if you're using part half of the plan to utilize the system fair enough then program up here we've actually got all the programs which i've got in my system there they are all there now a particular one that i use a lot which is track cleaning i can actually put in there program which then brings all your programs i can actually put in Track cleaning, like that, and that will then come up like that on the screen. All I then have to press that, and that program will start. I'll take that out because I don't want that one. Let's move the session over there. And what you do to, if you don't want this, all you've got to do is go back down to the Roman B Rail Master, double click it, and it's gone. Now, and then when we come to other parts, now if we go to this, which is actually your track plans, where you've got all the different types of tracks. If you actually go down here, what Hornby have now put in, if you go down right down the bottom, they've actually put in the new three way Pico point system. So if I actually go to that one there, that is how you would actually set up a three point system for your, for your, your, your junction. That is only easy, the only way you can actually do it in Railmaster. So you've got that one. Now also what they've put in is this one, which is train sex at signals. This is showing you how you would actually set up your signals in a, a system you've got on your railway. So here we've got the you've got, you've got the route master on there. You've got that there. You've got the, the green, the yellow double yellow and green and then after fact it shows you if you click them you actually see that it shows you the port numbers on each one 
but if you actually go to some of these down here it shows you how you actually set them all up or such as that one there shows you there signal 25 will be on yellow when that's on yellow and that's on double yellow that will be green and that's the way you do that one there's another one there with a, a red yellow and a green again and then here you've got one down here which actually does flashing in double yellows as well so you can utilize those to go on your track system also is what you've actually got is if i come out of there now come out every different second and if we go to here these are more new point systems that they've got in the system they've got crossovers in now which is a lot easier to use i haven't got none of this in mind so it, it, i don't actually use it so actually i can uh, come out of there and go out of that one there now then another part which um, i've found recently is one is if i uh, want to stop my train in emergency what i what you normally would do is hit the red button it stops the train dead but in railmaster what you've actually got is if you go to the little spano and down here right at the bottom it says controlled emergency stop if you click that then what you can actually do is if i go to we'll say we we'll run the the mallard the chain if i now start that train off there this is going in going to go in its speed that it normally goes at if i press this what it does it does a controlled stop so it does not damage your motors and your locos or any part of the other parts that are in the system that is a way you have to just click it again and you actually come back and go back on again if you need to now another one which is a part system is as i've shown you before on voice control is you tell it what speed it goes but i've actually taken part of my headset out so you actually listen to this now just click it back on again click it back on now then what i'm going to do is over there is the little class 8 circo so what i'm going to do is run that and show you what it'll actually do so i'll actually start up the voice control Circo. Circo. Forward. Speed 15. Now if I try and put it more than 15 mile an hour, watch. Speed 40. Speed 0. So you can actually show you that if you try and put the train faster than it's supposed to go, you get actually flashes up. You can't go that fast because you set the speed for the train you want. This one, of course, is set at 15 mile an hour, so it won't go any faster than 15 mile an hour. But if I bring it further round, speed 15, speed 15. Speed zero, forward, speed 15, now watch how good you can control the train, speed five, speed zero, So that is how you can actually control a train far better than trying to do it with a controller. So you can do a fine shunt 
or a fine uh, degree of stopping a train and it's quite easy that way around. Now one of the things extra I've actually got in my system if I actually come out of here I've got two other little things I've got in my system one is this which is called any rail. What my any rail is is you can build your own track layout. You can actually put your own buildings in because in the system are all the objects or whatever it might be. So we go to objects, we go to O, and same as here, Metcalf, which most of my buildings are. What will actually happen is all the Metcalf or most of the Metcalf stuff is sitting there. You actually click it, put it over there and then move it. Now actually in fact, if you actually, I'll take that out for a second. You actually see this part here, this is one I've just done as a temporary. It's actually got there with a little thing sitting there. So if you actually get hold of that, you can actually turn and move it in any direction that you want and make it to fit. And what you actually do is these ends here, just go to the end of there, push it to there and it just automatically clicks on. Now another part of this is actually, is that you can actually put in the code numbers of your points or your pieces of track and what that is is a track library and we go to a o over there go to hornby hornby standard track and there's all your parts so you just put them in as you want them what happened was originally on my system this part here wasn't in i then just took pieces of track away moved it to one side and then just put a set of points there set of points there and then some parts where this might not have been too long or too it's too long altogether, you can put extra parts out of your track and put them in. And that is another little system I have got running around. So in fact, as you can see there, that is how my layout looks on the system. I've got another little one as well, which is this one, which is a a model train catalogue and what I've actually got in here is all my uh, pieces that I've bought, all my rails, trains, grass, everything else, all in, are sitting in here, the price I paid for them and actually you can actually summarise at the end how much it's cost. This has cost about three and a half thousand pounds so far uh, but it does give you a shock when you find out how much it really has cost but everything's in there whether it's the dust monkeys I use or whether the buzz or the trains anything else I just put them all in here and it gives me a running total. And you could also put in what kind of decoder it's got in whether it's got a sound decoder what kind it's got in you could put everything you want in there so it's a little system that I've got there which helps me keep track of what I've actually got in the system and that is it for this video and um, thank you very much if you want to actually contact me You'll see my email address on my uh, YouTube site or you can phone me. My phone number's there. You can call, ring me anytime you want. I'm always here. I, I'm retired now so I don't go to work. So I'm here 90% of the day. And every day, seven days a week. So if anybody wants to contact me and have a chat, please do so. I'd like to hear from some of you. Thank you very much.